Oh, he comes, I'm going to punch him out. And this oh, is my mom. I would pay this. I'm like. waiting for this, for trespassing on the Capitol grounds. I'm going to punch him out, and I'm going to go to jail, oh, and I'm going to be happy. Well, guys, this should shock no one, but our Speaker of the House is a delusional idiot. Okay, now remember, when Trump said peacefully and patriotically protest. Well, now in recently released video on January 6th, Nancy Pelosi is quoted as saying, I hope Trump comes. I'm going to punch him out. This is my moment. I've been waiting for this, for trespassing on Capitol grounds. I'm going to punch him out. And I'm going to go to jail and I'm going to be happy. How come the media is reacting like she's this great hero? Because first and foremost, let's discuss this, right? She's there on January 6th with a documentary TV crew. As if, as if we needed more reasons to be conspiratorial. As if we thought for a second that this, what appears to me to be a mostly drunk and delusional old imbecile um, wasn't planning for all of these things. Uh, as if people should be shocked why we still haven't gotten answers to why she didn't bring in the National Guard and all those requests. As if we needed more reasons to question everything that was going on, Nancy Pelosi is there with a documentary crew talking tough, Preaching violence, I was told that's a huge threat to democracy. So it turns out the only elected official actually calling for violence on January 6th was in fact Nancy Pelosi with, I'm going to punch him out. Thanks uh, to getting for the bottom of this, uh, Liz Cheney, Adam Kinzinger, you guys have been investigating the violence of January 6th with your sham garbage for months now. Uh, where were you on this one, folks? Seems like you're awfully quiet. So Nancy Pelosi is calling for violence on January 6th, while Trump was talking about peacefully and patriotically protesting. This is our government to a T. And again, of course, it happens to be on video. By total coincidence on this day, she has a documentary film crew lined up and in her office, and she's going to be calling the shots. And if you watch the video, you'll see just how phony it is, just how obvious it is. You know, she is no actor, but you can see they're literally just setting up the narrative to make her into this hero and it's all nonsense, folks. Just watch it for yourselves. You'll see just how fake this is. And this is why voters care more about the cost of French fries than January 6th findings. Because it's all nonsense. It's all set up. Trump signed an order to deploy 20,000 guardsmen for January 6th, and it was refused by the Speaker of the House, who the next day, or within a day or two, is literally not only calling for violence, against the President of the United States, but has a documentary film crew there to make sure we capture her being a hero, folks. Does anyone believe these clowns anymore? Does anyone believe anything that comes out of their mouths anymore? Because if you do, you too are an imbecile, folks. You can't make it up, man. It's so phony and it's so fake. It's disgusting. But... That's the Democrat Party and the media, big tech and all of those. They'll pretend like it was real, folks. They'll pretend like she's a great hero. We should be used to it by now. Don't buy into the crap.